Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this episode of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks, I'm going to demonstrate how you should use the sharpening filter. Now we're going to sharpen this image, but before we do, I want to show you another image. And all this image is, is a set of gray bars. Whenever you sharpen anything with any program, not just Luminar 2018, when you're sharpening an image, you're adding what is called edge contrast. And what that means is wherever there's an edge in the image, where one object ends and another object begins and there's an edge there, you're adding just a bit of contrast right on that edge. So you're defining the edge a little more. So you're in effect sharpening the image. Now with this image, we have a very distinctive edge right here. So it's very easy to see what is happening. I have the sharpening filter over here. As I move the amount slider to the right, you'll notice that it's just affecting the edge. It's not really affecting anything but that edge. And what it's doing, it's making the darker part a little darker and the lighter part a little lighter. So it is in effect adding contrast right on that edge, edge contrast. So it's in effect would make the image look much sharper. Now, as far as the other sliders, the radius slider, you could see that this effect, it's kind of come out from the edge a little bit. That's the radius. If you move the radius slider to the right, you're going to widen it out. It's going to come out further from the edge and affect more pixels. If I move the radius slider to the left, I'm kind of refining it. I'm making it just at the edge and nothing outside of that edge or less outside of that edge when I move radius to the left. Now the masking slider you won't really see what it does. Well you'll see it do something to this image but it really doesn't explain what it actually does. What it does is when we have a real image, a landscape particularly with a sky, blue sky with clouds, a lot of times you don't want to sharpen the sky. When you move the masking slider to the right, it will take away the sharpening from the sky. And I think you'll see that a little more readily in the real image, which we're going to sharpen in a minute. Now, dehalo, when you move this to the right, you actually see it's removing the sharpening. If I move it to the left, it's allowing the sharpening to come through. What this is actually doing, and this is kind of a slider that you won't need to use all the time, a lot of times, you'll have an image that will have something dark against a very bright background or vice versa, something bright against a very dark background. And when you sharpen it, that object will tend to bleed over the pixels around it. Meaning if we have a dark tree branch going up through a very bright sky and we over sharpen it, it looks like the tree branch is kind of smudged and kind of bleeding out into that bright sky. If that happens, you would move dehalo to the right. Now, again, it could be a light object, maybe a big white pole going up against a very dark background, and that would bleed the same way. It's just going to bleed in a bright way as opposed to a dark way. So you would move dehalo to get rid of that. So most times, you won't have to move the dehalo slider. You're just going to have to concern yourself with the other three. Now we'll jump over into a real image. And what I recommend you do when you're sharpening is to zoom in. Um, zoom into 100%. And then drag the image around to the object that you want or the spot in your image that you want to be very sharp. In this case, you know, there's not a lot of detail here, but I do want the granite to look pretty sharp. So I would come in here with the sharpening amount slider and I move it to the right. And you could see, uh, hopefully you could see in the video, it really sharpens it considerably. So if you look even like right in here, just moving this to the right sharpens it a lot. Now I'm going to move it all the way up just so we could better demonstrate or see what the other sliders do. As I move radius to the right, now remember wherever there's this high contrast edge like right in here, if I move radius to the right, it's going to spread that out. And you're going to see that it's going to make everything look almost HDR-like as we move that to the right. Now, if we come over to the sky and we look up in the sky here, let's see if I move masking to the right. 
you could see how it kind of made it look worse. It made it kind of blur out, but it's all the way to the left. It's allowing this sharpening to come through. So you could see on the edges of these clouds how we see the edge. And as I move it to the right, it's kind of blurring it out. So that's how you kind of remove that um, sharpening from skies with the masking. So what I suggest you do is zoom in first. Let's reset this. Look at something that you want or an area of your image that you want sharp. Move the amount slider to the right. There's going to be, I think, very few instances where you're going to even have to touch the radius slider. If you're sharpening an animal and it has feathers or fur, you may find it beneficial to move the radius slider to the left. But for most general images, especially landscapes like this one, or a cityscape, or just even an architectural photo, radius right at 50 will be fine. Then what I recommend you do is to zoom back to fit to screen. Then take the masking slider and look at the part you need to mask, like in this case the sky, and move it to the right. And it will take a second to render on some computers when you're messing with the masking slider. So you can see when we're zoomed out, it doesn't look as scary as it did a second ago when we were all zoomed in. Now, there's nothing bleeding up into here. A lot of times, like, we might have these darker branches bleeding a bit. If that's the case, you would move the dehalo um, slider usually to the right to try to eliminate that bleeding. But in this case, we don't have to. So... That is how you would properly sharpen your image with the sharpening filter that is found in Luminar 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.